Bharat, a country full of contrast. Magnificent and alluring landscapes, one of the first civilizations in the world. It was 5 a.m. when we set off for a hike in Junagat to see the three temples on top of the mountains. It was dark and quiet, and the distance we could see light, the only indication how far up we had to go. The sun was slowly appearing from behind the mountain. It was comforting, knowing that we didn't have to hike in darkness anymore. I looked up and saw the first rays of sunlight, warm and still not burning my skin. I lost count how many steps we had climbed. Altogether, it was supposed to be 10,000 steps one way. I had never seen anyone wearing these type of clothes before into the mountains and even walking barefoot. My biggest fear and preoccupation were monkeys. They were everywhere, trying to steal something or even attack. I have climbed many mountains in my life, but somehow this whole trek was different. All was so new and I could not wait to see the temple on top of the mountain. I had no idea how it was built, centuries ago. On our way up, we saw people carrying stone on their backs, their heads bended and arms holding the stone in place. The delicate morning light was slightly illuminating the temple. It was truly a sight. Steep mountains and green hills around it. Yes, women had saris and climbing in one seemed almost impossible to me. This was a Jain temple. It was incredible to see up close. The details were just breathtaking and the design truly matched the surroundings. Once we were almost at the top, the sun started to lightly burn my skin. It was truly a sight. People in colorful clothes, small shops with fruits, and on their way, the sound of prayers from temples. And finally, we saw the last mountain. It was even more exposed than the other, and this temple was truly built in the middle of nowhere. Down we could see the entire city and flat terrain, but up there the sharp rocks were a marvelous sight. People were carrying the supplies to shops on their backs. On our way, we saw small temples like this one. The colors contrasted with everything around us. I thought that I saw many monkeys before, I was so wrong. Once the sun appeared, they all woke up and were jumping everywhere. I was trying to catch a glimpse of them, which was easy, but not the safest for my camera. 
the small monkey stole my hat. I found that it was adopted by the owner of the shop when it was still a baby. For a second, I actually thought that was not a real monkey because it was sitting so still. On our way, we could see people selling all kinds of things, coconuts, different drinks, or even spices. Junagat is popular for this drink, Kavo, which is sold during winter. It's made with ginger, lemon juice, salt, spices such as red chili and of course, very strong mint tea. At the beginning I was hesitant to drink it because generally I'm not a fan of such strong beverages but everyone was telling me to try it. I loved the way it was prepared. The tea boiling on the open fire and the tea smelling delicately of mint. Mmm. It's nice. It's good. It's good? It's good. Lay it out with you. You want to try? Drink it like this and then. The consistency was strange, thick and hard to drink without using a spoon. It was warm on my tongue, but at last I got convinced and truly found it delicious. This was Mahabad Magbara and right next to it was Bahaudin Magbara. This complex was completed in the 19th century. It is known for its Indo-Islamic style with considerate European Gothic influence. I absolutely adored the ornaments and the details. The color was fascinating and contrasted with the color of the sky. I had never seen such building before. The architecture was truly something else. It looks straight out of an exotic movie with the colors, palm trees and general atmosphere. The minarets had winding staircases around them. We had decided to see the zoo with many different beds, but after that, it was high time to eat something. <laughs> Kumba Karantali was brought to us in an interesting way. When I saw the size of this portion, my jaw dropped on the floor. I wish us all good luck. All of this is for you. Yes. And Rugin. Yes. <laughs> so many different types of dal, masalas and other dishes. I was beyond excited to try it all. At the end we all felt so full I could barely move. But it didn't stop us on going on a little ride in the jungle to look for white animals. The car ride was just something else, even for Bharat. 
I was trying to hold on to something and the wind was blowing in my face. We all were hoping to see lions there, and although it didn't happen, we still enjoyed this time to the fullest. The sun was setting and the next day we had to drive back to Gandhinagar. I looked through the window and I knew that I would remember this trip for a long time.